Maurizio defeat to Liverpool under fives in the Carabao Cup final. You must be embarrassed and ashamed, and I'm very surprised you have shown your face. I think we heard we had to struggle to play against the Liverpool under fives. Uh, it was difficult to to compete with them running around in their nappies because we have only spent uh, 400 billion pounds and uh, I think that uh, the kids, mummies and daddies should be ashamed of themselves to let them run onto the pitch like that. They should be in nursery, not in the cup final, making, a twa uh, making us look like the clowns that we are. Um. And how good were Klopp's kindergarten kids? You must have had huge congratulations for them. Yes, but uh, when I try to congratulate the under fives, they go, nee, 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 nee. And then they try to shoot the nerf guns at me. Uh, then I go into the dressing room and they have drawn uh, Chelsea ash crap all over the walls in the crayons and left their action men and Lego on the floor, dirty nappies and play really loud music which is disrespectful. I think it was old McDonald had a farm and the wheels on the bus go around and around. I think that this was very disrespectful. Uh, the Chelsea fans were very quiet throughout the game. Did they know it was a cup final? Uh, was it a sponsored silence, Podge? I think that the, the Chelsea fans were amazing. They sing uh, throughout the match. Uh, but I am confused why they sing about uh, Steven Gerrard sleeping 45 years ago. That had nothing to do with us. Uh, I think that uh, they will be amazing for us in the championship in next season. And how devastated were the billionaire bottle jobs. Credit to Gary Neville, what a guy, losing to a few primary school kids. Yes, I say to the players that uh, it's not the end of the world, even though it is the end of the world to get beat by three year olds in the cup final. Uh, but uh, then uh, I take them to a brothel to cheer them up. But uh, as you expect, uh, they did not, uh, one of them did score. Uh, this I am not surprised. And after this pathetic result was confirmed at the final whistle, did you manage to catch a word with the loon ball? Sorry, Chairman, then it's Todd Bowley. Yes, I think to, to Todd Bowley that he come to me after the match and uh, he says to me that uh, he has put a, a £700 billion pound bid in for uh, a couple of nurses based in Liverpool. So I think this will give us a great chance to, to, to maybe finish in the top 12.